Well, hello everyone and welcome to our 15 minute coffee break where we're going to talk a little bit about VIB's deal intent solution. By way of introductions, I'm Mariah West. I'm VP of Marketing at VIB and a longtime B2B marketer. I've had a lot of roles where I've been responsible for managing teams, owning budgets, generating marketing source leads and pipeline and revenue, just like you, and I'll be your MC today. Now, if it's your first time engaging with VIB, welcome. A little bit of context on who we are. We are a demand generation partner for high-tech companies of all different sizes who need a little bit of help to connect with their ideal customers. And the way we do this is a little unique. We've spent the last decade building up a community of technology professionals who rely on us to match them with the solution providers of interest. So on one side, our community members get aligned to solutions that are curated to their needs. And on the other side, our clients like you get access to target those members through a different range of B2B marketing solutions. So for both sides, it's a major win-win. Now, in addition to the solution we're previewing today, we do have an entire portfolio of offerings that can help you generate demand and leads through that entire marketing funnel. So depending on where your greatest needs or gaps are, we can help you do everything from generating awareness to bringing in targeted leads or even generating prospect meetings for your sales team. So we're here to help, would love to hear from you. Now, um, today's coffee break, it's a brief overview of deal intent. And before I was at VIB, I was in marketing for various software companies doing um, the same thing you're probably doing today, which is trying to generate interest in some pretty noisy marketplaces. Um, in my case, I used many different kinds of tech to do that, including intent data platforms to try to generate some more interest, but also some of the tried and true methods around collaborating with BDR teams to do regular cold outreach, as well as a bunch of other marketing channels in the marketing mix. And one of the challenges we all experience, whether you're like me and you're a marketer or you're a seller, or maybe you're an executive leader for a tech company, is finding people who have existing interest. And I don't mean generating interest or generating a need. There's a lot of excellent salespeople out there that do a great job of that. I mean, actually finding people who already have a use case, maybe they already have a project or they already have an existing need and then effectively getting yourself invited into the conversation. Because unless you're lucky enough to be one of the big companies, one of the incumbents that get invited to do every RFP, it's not something you're used to. I know for me, it wasn't something I was ever used to in many of the startups I worked at. So traditionally, what you do is you start with top of funnel lead generation. You've got a bunch of different vendors you use, got a ton of internal processes that you, and people, I should say too, that um, are all in the job of turning that lead into some kind of interest. Last year, we did a state of B2B marketing report, and 54% of you said that improving lead quality and conversion is a top challenge, and it continues to be a challenge every year. Maybe in addition to top of funnel lead generation, you use an intent data platform that's supposed to kind of get you closer to identifying leads with the need. According to Gartner, a couple of years ago, about 70% of us use these platforms. I'm sure considering that stat is a few years old, it's only increased more than that in, the couple, in the, these couple of years. Um, but these platforms deliver intent signals. And a lot of times the intent signals are not really quick or easy to action into what I consider more short-term sales opportunities. And this is especially true in situations where maybe you don't have contact level information for that person. Maybe the signal is at the account level and you don't have the contact level data. The intent, you can't really determine if it's consideration level or not. Maybe it's just research-based intent. Or maybe the intent signal timing isn't very specific, so you're coming in maybe a little bit late to things. So. You're doing top of funnel lead gen, maybe you've got an intent data platform. Either way, if you are successful in getting a prospect on the hook that has a project, you're still coming into the conversation cold. So in that traditional lead lifecycle journey, you still need resources and you need time to nurture the lead. You need time to stimulate a need to convert it through each stage of that buyer's journey into an opportunity. And also, depending on how complex or expensive your sale is, this can really take some time. So um, before I move on, I would love to hear 
a little bit more about your top priority challenges on this topic by launching a quick poll. So let us know what are some of your biggest roadblocks to finding new clients? Has it just been the general challenge of getting traditional leads to convert? Is it the lack of overall awareness into the prospect's needs and buying processes? Is it maybe your prospecting process is pretty long? Maybe your conversion benchmarks are also kind of low. Or is it a situation where maybe you're using an intent data platform and you are challenged with interpreting and actioning the different intent signals it's pushing out? So I'll leave that up for a minute as I keep going here. So no matter kind of which challenge you decided in that poll to rank number one and share with us, the truth is that if you have no visibility into an existing prospect sales cycle, you can't participate to win. And that's really where the idea for deal intent was born. What if you could find leads who were already mid funnel on their journey and understand what they're already researching when they're looking to make a purchase based on that research and what kind of budget they have as well as some other critical data points. And from our perspective, we are uniquely positioned to help address that need because we have the strength of the VIB community, which is a million strong membership base of tech professionals behind us where we can simply ask our members directly what projects they have going on. And so that's really what deal intent is. Deal intent is a new approach to providing intent-based leads where we don't just rely on second and third party signals, but we use our large network of tech professionals and ask them directly what they're looking for. Now, our members willingly share intelligence on their decision-making process, their timelines, their budget, and permission for you to contact them so that you can enter in that conversation warm. So effectively, your team gets sales-ready leads who are verified as being in market for new technology aligned to your intent topic. So how do we do that? I want to walk you through really quickly our four-step process um, on how we make that happen. So the first step is we consult with you to understand your needs. You know, what kind of intent categories are you most interested in identifying? You're going to tell us a little bit about your most common buying groups or anything kind of unique or specific to what you're looking for that we, so that we can best align to your specific um, needs and align the community member profiles to those needs. And we do all that discovery so that we can identify keywords and commonalities that we turn into a profile that we use for targeting. And then we ask the community members that fit that profile for more information. And what you're seeing on the screen is actually a sample of some of the questions that will be provided back to you in the delivery of your lead. So let's say, for example, you're um, a cloud management company who's looking for companies with active cloud migration projects. First, what we do is when we create your profile, we look for all community members who've expressed interest in the cloud migration topic. And then we'd invite them to tell us if they have any active cloud migration projects. And through that process, we would ask them questions like, where are you in the decision process? Who are you in the decision process? Who maybe else is involved? Because as you, as you all know, a lot of tech decision processes involve entire buying committees. So this is a great way of identifying those. What's the need that's driving you to look for a solution? Do you have a confirmed budget? And more importantly, what is that budget? What are you looking to spend? And last but certainly not least, we ask for their direct consent for you, the VIB client, to be contacted by them or for them to be contacted by you, I should say, which um, if you're familiar with the data platforms is vastly different than what's available out there today with more of the traditional third and second party intent signal providers. So effectively, what you get is comprehensive information directly from the source on their needs in the form of kind of like a, think of it like a comprehensive dossier, which is just a great way of describing an incredibly rich package of information on an active project that you get along with their contact information and that critical opt-in for you to contact them directly. Now to put that process into practice, I um, would be remiss if I didn't share with you a brief client example from one of our customers and their experience with deal intent 
So you kind of get a sense for how this works and what it can deliver. Now, this particular client I'm showing on the screen, they're in security. They offer an identity threat detection and response software. Their product is in a really well-defined market segment, but the product itself is somewhat niche as far as what kind of um, platforms they support. And so they struggle differentiating themselves against those incumbent security giants that dominate the space. They didn't really have the brand awareness at the time just to be invited into projects. So they did what most of us do. They purchased an intent data platform, but weren't really immediately successful in identifying real project-based need versus just the traditional awareness level research signals. And they also, I'd say, didn't have a large contact database, so they couldn't easily activate contacts in the different accounts they were seeing that was showing the signals. So they had two specific needs. They needed both the intelligence and also the contact data. So they engaged us at VIB on a deal intent project. And in a short three weeks, we were able to successfully generate 20 new opportunities for them. 65% of those were completely new accounts to their business. So things they didn't even have on their radar. They weren't aware that they were already being considered in three of the deals. So we were able to uncover that for them. And previously to deal intent, they were not in the running for 13 of the 20 opportunities. So that means those 13 accounts didn't even know they existed as a solution in the space. And so they weren't a part of the evaluation process and we were successful in getting them in that evaluation process. So they were really quickly in three weeks able to get that valuable intelligence on active projects to ensure productive discovery calls. And because of that, they were able to um, successfully generate new opportunities that they wouldn't have known about otherwise. Amazing use case there. Um, and this is just, I would say, one of many different use cases for using VIB's deal intent program. That particular client really wanted to understand um, specific need within the specific accounts in order to generate opportunities. But maybe in your case, you just need to cut through the noise and make sure the leads you're generating have a verified need. Deal intent in that case can help you uncover those active projects. Or maybe your biggest challenge is consent to contact. You know, maybe you have very stringent opt-in regulations or you have a decaying database and you want deal intent to deliver you pre-opted in leads with interest in your area. It can also do that for you. Or maybe your biggest need is to deliver just a warmer conversation to sales um, and you want to give them that comprehensive picture of the client's projects so that when they have a first touch point, it's an incredibly valuable first touch point. Um, it can help accelerate the whole sales campaign. So no matter your use case, deal intent can really deliver a better quality intent-based lead to fuel your funnel. And just as a reminder, part of the reason why we can deliver on that value is thanks to that million strong community I mentioned that we've grown over the last decade. Um, and it's that community that we can ask these critical questions of and get that first party, zero party data from them on what they're actively doing. And we've been doing it for a long time. We've got demonstrated experience delivering results for both leading and emerging tech companies. A um, couple of the logos on the screen like Google and Veeam, Palo Alto and Sophos have been longstanding customers. But we also are backed to internally by longstanding market research expertise. Um, and that expertise helps us deploy and run these programs inside VIB. So like I said at the beginning, we'd love to hear from you and understand how we may be able to help your business. So one last poll for you here as I wrap up this coffee chat. Are you interested in learning more about deal intent? Yes, you'd like to talk to somebody, we'd be happy to reach out. No, maybe it's not something you're in the market for. Or Third option, maybe you think it's a neat idea, but you don't have a need for it. That's okay too. We'd love to have your feedback either way. And um, as that poll stays up, uh, please do complete it. But at the very least, pop over to vib.tech, click on deal intent in the solutions menu to read a bit more about um, the solution or download the data sheet. And with that, I wanna thank you so much for joining me for this very brief 15 minute coffee chat I hope you learned a little something and we look forward to seeing you next time.